Yo, what is going on guys? It's Juan Solo here with A Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for some more State of Decay 2. Yes, we are back talking about some State of Decay 2. So in today's video, we're actually going to be talking about the possibility of there actually being a new setting in State of Decay 2 around the difficulty settings. So this is something that is probably one of the most requested features coming to State of Decay 2 currently, and that is the ability to go into the settings and increase the game's core difficulty to make it so that it is harder. Currently I'm doing a hardcore challenge, which basically makes it so that I have to recruit everybody that I come across. I'm not allowed to heal the Blood Plague and use the infirmary at all. So I have to heal players with uh, medical kits that I find in the open world, as well as I'm not allowed to have any outposts that generate materials and all that good stuff, trying to make the game as hard as physically possible with the way the game currently is. But this is a, definitely a feature that has been requested pretty much since the launch of the game uh, because of the breakdown DLC that was in the original State of Decay made it so that every time that you moved maps and you kind of progressed through that, it got harder and harder and harder. And eventually it got to the point where it was near impossible to complete the different tasks and stuff on that game mode. And this is something that fans have been obviously asking for for State of Decay 2 because for the most part, across the board, generally speaking, everyone says it's fairly easy to go through the game. I know a lot of people that are on their 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, or even higher playthrough of the game have all the bonuses, have all the weapons, that sort of thing. And at that point, I, there's not really that great of a replay value of State of Decay 2 at that point, just because the difficulty really isn't there. So the developers have talked about this a little bit, um, I guess you could say behind closed doors. Uh, this could be a feature that could be coming in the future in State of Decay 2. This is not confirming anything. This is not a, hey, this is going to happen. But uh, a few of the devs did say that there is a chance that this is something that might be instituted in the game. But, and especially because they hear this constantly. They hear this constantly from the fans. That's probably the one requested thing over and over and over that the developers hear. Is they want some way to make the game more difficult. Um, rather than try to go in there and do similar to what I'm doing with the hardcore challenge, which really doesn't make the game that much harder. It just makes it a little bit more of a pain in the butt. But uh, they did say that they got to figure out the right way to address the need of the difficulty situation because difficulty levels touch a lot of things, including, like, I mean, you got to look at the zombie spawning, the health rates, the all pretty much everything across the board is going to have to be tweaked or adjusted if they do some sort of a difficulty setting in State of Decay 2, and any solution will take time and care to do it correctly. So like I said, this is not something that you're going to see next week, maybe not even next month, but down the road, maybe even maybe similar to uh, when the Daybreak DLC launches or shortly after or maybe later on this year uh, towards, you know, Christmas time or whatever. Maybe we'll, I know it's a long ways away, but maybe we will get an actual update that changes it so that we can actually adjust the difficulty and that will affect you know, if a zombie hits you, he's going to do more damage or you're not going to have as much health or, you know, that sort of thing. Zombie spawn rate might be higher. Freak spawn rate might be higher. Uh, density of zombies around your area might be a little bit higher. That sort of thing. Maybe resources are a little bit harder to come by. Uh, all those kind of things along those lines. And uh, what I kind of wanted to do with this video is touch base with you guys and say, you know, this is a possibility. They have not ruled this out. This is definitely something that they see as it's something that is very requested and possibly could be coming in the future in State of Decay 2. But uh, what I want you guys to do down in the comments section is leave ideas, for instance, of how the game could be made more difficult. You know, for instance, if you put it on the starter setting, let's just say you have easy, uh, let's say, well, recruit, easy, hard, you know. Like, well, like Wolfenstein where it was like, you know, cut your eyes out or something, you know, I don't know. But like the, the hardest difficulty, like maybe being hardcore or something like that. What on those different tiers should be different from each other? Like obviously, you know, with like I said, zombie spawn rate, zombie damage, you know, weapon damage, maybe that sort of thing along those lines. Let me know down in the comments. Let's have a discussion about it. And then I will definitely try to send this video over to Undead Labs so they can kind of look at it and see what some of our ideas are when it comes to the difficulty settings of State of Decay 2 and maybe some things that they could institute if they go that route of putting this change in the actual game. 
you know, down the road. Who knows? Next month, a couple months down the road, maybe sometime later this year. Who knows? But they have definitely not ruled this out as something that uh, can be coming in the game. It's definitely been a request from the community, and they know that. And this is something that they're kind of toying around with and figuring out how the right way to do this would be. And I think if they get enough feedback from us on different ideas to kind of help them with that, this is something that we definitely will see in the future. I'm calling that. This is something that we will see. You can take that with a grain of salt because obviously I'm not a developer at Undead Labs or Microsoft Studios or anything. But I think this thing, uh, the, 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 diffi the difficulty setting in State of Decay 2 almost needs to be there to kind of help the longevity of the game. But uh, overall, guys, that's pretty much going to do it for the video. If you guys enjoyed it, you guys think this is something that really definitely needs to come to State of Decay 2 with the difficulty setting, make sure to drop a like and also leave your comments and thoughts down below on the topic. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all things State of Decay 2. Vigor. Vigor is another one that I'm going to be covering very soon, guys. I'm actually going to have uh, exclusive early access to Vigor, which is a it's basically an instance-based survival shooter coming to the Xbox One exclusively sometime within the next few weeks on a game preview as well as it's going to launch in uh, either March uh, before March of 2019 it's going to be a free to play game on the Xbox store so you guys can check it out I will leave a link to that website for that game down in the description below so if you guys want to check it out there will be content on the channel very very soon some exclusive early access of that game but uh, overall that's pretty much going to do it for the video guys thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you guys later peace out